Hey guys, it is Efren the Marketer, and today I'll be going over the top three builder websites that we strongly suggest to build your own website if you can't hire an agency or a marketing company. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and drop me a comment. It definitely helps with the algorithm. One of the main questions we always get in our company is, okay, I can't afford you right now, but I need some type of website to get me going so I can get some information out to the world. If you don't know, having something is better than nothing. And sometimes having a WordPress site that looks really, really ugly, it's better to not have that, right? So um, our company does build a lot of the websites in WordPress because it's more customizable and you can do a lot of overwriting. Depending again on the customer budget is what they will receive. But a lot of times we do get a lot of smaller companies that can't afford for us to build the website or any other company to build a website. So at this point, it's like, okay, what can you do? And there's always something that you can do. And this is why I'm making this video, the top three builders in the industry that might work for you. So if you're building a website that pretty much you're literally just collecting leads or you're getting information or you just want to put out information so you can put it on Google My Business, Facebook, or whatever the case is. These are the two websites that I'm going to compare right next to each other because to be honest, Wix and you have here, which is a competitor, is Squarespace. If you go on YouTube and you type in Wix versus Squarespace, you're gonna have some people favoriting uh, Squarespace and then you're gonna have some other videos that are gonna be favoriting Wix. More unique than just what a template has to offer, I think Wix is a no-brainer. I personally like Wix for most websites out there. And I recommend Squarespace over Wix. Here's how I would summarize. Personally, I kind of consider them in the same field. As you can tell here, uh, the websites, you know, look really, really clean. They give you some templates to choose from. And pretty much using Wix or Squarespace, if you don't have money to have a full-on team for your company, like a digital team, then definitely having Squarespace or Wix is probably the best option because if you need to change a phone number, you most likely can go on there real quick and do it within 15 to 20 minutes versus having a complicated uh, JavaScript website or WordPress website where if you add the wrong script or you add the wrong code or you change something that you're not supposed to or you update a plugin and it all breaks. So again, we build websites fully customizable and usually when we deliver the website, the client don't really want too many changes or they have a web department that usually takes takes over the project, right? So this is why we recommend Square or Wix, depending on your budget. Um, to be honest, they're kind of almost the same price. So here is Squarespace pricing, the most popular $18 a month. You do have an SSL certificate, which uh, SSL security is pretty much a little padlock you see here on the left-hand side. That's super, that's super important because nowadays, you know, if you have a website or you build a website on WordPress and it doesn't have the padlock, say goodbye to your organic pretty much because Google or um, Google Chrome is no longer letting a website fly without an SSL certificate because now a privacy policy pops up and says, warning, this website is not secure and can damage a computer and you definitely don't want that, right? So they both offer that SSL certificate. This Wix program though, it is $23 a month and you have uh, Squarespace, which is $18 a month. And I was kind of looking at the features and everything like that. They're both about the same. They both offer about the same. And if you go to like YouTube and you compare Wix and Squarespace, you're going to have some YouTubers or some people favoriting Wix over Squarespace. And then you're going to have other ones uh, favoring Squarespace over Wix. It kind of just depends on what you're trying to do. So again, I'll say that again. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. The both builders are really good. So to me, these are two simple, simple websites, builders that I strongly suggest. So now I did mention earlier, depending on what you're trying to do is what I recommend. And that, it, that comes down to e-commerce. If you're trying to do e-commerce, I personally, and I will put all my beans down and give e-commerce top builder to Shopify. So Shopify is one of the top leading website builders for e-commerce. I personally think if you're going to start a store, sell clothing, sell any type of material or offer anything that can that you need to do a checkout, 
Personally, Shopify is one of the best builders out there because all they mostly focus on is e-commerce, right? Wix and, um, and Squarespace, they offer that as well. But to be quite honest, they don't just focus on the actual e-commerce part of it. Even though we build custom websites and everything, a lot of clients still come to us and say, hey, I want to build a custom Shopify store and you can definitely do that because you can build a like either you can choose a template or you can create a brand new website um, Through CSS or upload your own like template or upload your own code to make your own site however you like so it's definitely super customizable But if you look at the pricing plan, it is a little bit more expensive than your Wix and your Squarespace but again Shopify just focuses mostly on the online store and things like that and they still offer you like the SSL and security and the discount codes and stuff like that um, But I really what I really really like about this is that you can customize a whole Shopify store in custom CSS Something I do suggest though is we build a lot of websites on WordPress I feel like a lot of websites that rank organically that don't have really big SEO uh, behind it are mostly WordPress and this is why we build a lot of sites in WordPress even though they do glitch here and there um, but if you have the budget definitely do JavaScript Java straight all the way no uh, WordPress nothing like that just straight Java if you don't have that kind of money try a WordPress website if you don't have that kind of money then definitely try a Wix or Squarespace or a Squarespace builder all right guys hopefully this video was super helpful if it was please 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 share it like it subscribe and drop a comment if you have any questions other than that see you on the next video